welcome back to my youtube channel so this is going to be the uh, second lesson of uh, second terminal exam so when you look at your second terminal syllabus you will find that chapter 5 is the second lesson of uh, second second lesson of second terminal exam second terminal ki syllabus yeng umatam da masigi lesson number 5c Anishuba lesson Oiduni, which will be a part of uh, second terminal syllabus, and uh, today we will, that means this is this will be the first video of lesson number five, and lesson number five will be uploaded in two different videos. So almost half of the lesson will be completed in the first video, and the remaining half of the lesson will be completed in the will be completed or will be uploaded in the second video so the bottom line is lesson number five will be uploaded uh, videos of lesson number five or lesson number five will be divided into two videos so in order to learn or in order to understand lesson number five completely you have to watch two videos so this will be the first video and in the next week, I will upload a second video which will cover the remaining part of the lesson. So, I once again welcome everyone. Uh, so, the name of the lesson is Seeds and Seeds. Maru ki matang ni ko. So, pambi thava matam da koi maru ki thava ki matang ni. So, it starts with a person called Gopal. Gopal was waiting for his Mossi's family to visit them. So Gopal ki family si da, Gopal ki yum si da, mo ki relatives khara laka ni hai bhi wari na hoi ko. They will be coming the next day for the holidays. So he was thinking about all the fun and nice food that he would have with his cousins. So mo relatives laka anda, so along with the relatives he will have, he will enjoy a um, nice food. Just then his mother called out, Gopal, before you sleep, remember to soak two small balls of chana. Chana do, I think the thing is that you have to do it. Gopal, you have to do it. So you have to do it. She was going to his Bua's house and would return only in the morning. So she will return in the morning. So she remind, she insisted her son to shock two small balls of chana and he was as he was soaking the chana gopal thought how will two small balls of this be enough for eight persons so he saw another two balls of chana when his mother returned the next morning she saw that the chana were overflowing from the vessel how much did you soak as can mother how did that happen wondered gopal so gopal added more quantity so in the next day as i think the thing with them that it swelled up and uh, it was overflowing so that means uh, the container he has taken to soak chana is small as compared to the quantity of the chana you soak too much anyway it is good now i will cook half of them and leave them and leave the other half to sprout sprout is in a way you maton kitang kitang chong patun it was sprout koi because I can send these to your aunt. The doctor has told her to eat sprouts. Uh, sprouts, the doctor advised her, you know, until the chow high ham. Doctor advised her, you know, you know, this sprouts, you nutritious, or you know, food, you know, 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 you and hung them and hung them up to sprout so half of the chana was kept aside in uh, to convert into sprout discuss what things are soaked before cooking in your house so regarding as i told you in most of my uh, videos that whatever textual questions are given in your textbook it will be provided in the pdf format through whatsapp group so whenever you saw any kind of study material on the WhatsApp group, you have to download it and you have to write it in your classroom notebook. So, 
whatever textual exercise are given in your textbook regarding this also will be uploaded in the whatsapp group but we will discuss also I should explain to I should explain to you so what things are soft before cooking in the house and why so that means name some of the food uh, some of the food that are uh, soft before cooking and you have to mention reason also so chana or else we have discussed with Gopal which is chana rice rasma and so many things are there which are soft before cooking and the reason is say thongbada thongbada nuaina ba adai ko magi ato pa nutritious value hen phangna ba adu bagini sok to isi i mean ko thongbada thuna munna ba hai ta ko what things do you eat after sprouting how are they sprouted how much time does it take sprout ro di maton hidang chong maton chong bodu ni ko so chana rajma they are Mung that mung so are the foods that are eat after sprouting how are they sprouted so the process for sprouting is uh, how much time does it take so process of sprouting will be uh, learning in this chapter so as we go on we will be learning the process of making sprout has a doctor or someone you know ever told you to eat sprouts and why as i told you sprouts are very nutritious so it is advised to have sprout do this and find out next is do this and find out do you remember that in class 4 you did an activity with seeds now try another one take some chana and three balls so do this and find out so uh, in this process in this activity we are going to Follow some steps which will help you to uh, make sprout. So take some chana and three balls. Balls, you could think what high tare. Put five chana in the first ball and fill it up with water. So in the first ball, we have to fill, we have to completely emerge chana in water. So in the uh, second ball, think what I'm looking ball idea. Put a damp piece of cloth or some cotton wool in the second ball. Now keep the same number of chanas in it. Make sure that the cotton wool or cloth remains wet. Kanga kanda di ising muhajin view hai. So then direct, we are not completely immersing the uh, chana in water. We are just making them wet with the help of wet clothes or wet cotton. In the third bowl, we are going to take uh, chanas in the third bowl. Uh, only chanas in the third bowl. So we are not going to add any kind of any water or anything. Do not put anything else in it. Cover all the three bowls. So observe after two days and not the change in the ball. So in order to perform this activity, you have to, uh, in order to understand this activity, you, activity, you have to fill up this form, uh, this table. That means you have to practically perform this activity and you have to observe all the uh, results and you have to write it. In, you have to write it in the table given below. Observe after two days and not the changes in the balls. So after this. Are the seeds getting air? So in the first ball, we have completely immersed. So the ball, the chanas are completely immersed in water. So in the first ball, air is not. The seeds are not getting air. And in the second ball, since we are using wet cloth, yes, the seeds are getting air. And in the third ball, yes, obviously, uh, the chanas, the seeds are getting air. Uh, so the second question is are the seeds getting water so in the first ball yes second ball yes third ball no so we have not added we have added we have uh, we have not added anything in the third ball so no in the third ball what changes did you see so in the first ball uh, where all the chanas are completely emerged in water you will find it the chana swelled up chana and in the second ball, as I get completely immersed of within a taba, a dugang as I get a wet cloth na wrap, yomza laga tambadu, madudu, you will see sprouts. And in the third ball, no change. Have the seeds sprouted in the first ball, no. Second ball, yes. And in the third ball, no. So, sprouting, in order to obtain sprouts, you have to uh, follow uh, the process 
which are uh, the process which are given, uh, which are performed in ball two. Then got any subada chatha give a process into chatha raga di equation show show then spot pangani hai din ko. So tail and ride. In which ball did the seed sprout? Obviously ball two. What difference did you see between this ball and the other balls? So when you compare ball two with ball one and three, you will find it in on ball two. Uh, ball two gets enough air and water. So both air and water are made available in ball two. So in ball one, water is of course water is there, but air is not provided. Air is not. Uh, since all the chanas are completely immersed in water, they are not able to get air. In ball three, water and air, nothing is there. So why did Gopal's mother tie the chana in the damp cloth? And so so now Buddha, you only do that. Remember, you know Gopal gave mana hair gadi in order to get both air and water. So that, as I give sprouts, you thought nobody damukta. Sprouts, you pang nobody damukta. Hi that. So in the next page, sorry. Page number three. So when you split the whole masur, masur dal, you get me masur dal. But when you cannot sprout me, but then you cannot sprout me. Can you think why? Split the ragadi as I give sprout to pang there. Okay, manam we know how the sprouting capacity of masur is lost after it is split. Split the ragadi must sprout to vungam there. So draw look carefully at your sprouted chana and make its drawing. Next is project plant your seeds. So take a clay pot or a tin can with a white mouth. Make a small hole at the bottom of the can. Fill your can with uh, soil. Put four or five seeds of the same kind in the soil and press them gently. So it is the process of uh, growing a plant. Different groups can plant different kinds of seeds. You can take different seeds such as you can take mustard. You can take uh, fenugreek, you can take sesame or coriander. So in order to perform this activity, you have to take a container in which you have to add soil and you have to bury it, you have to add seeds in order to grow a plant. So while taking seeds, you can take different uh, seeds, write name the seeds and also after performing this activity, you have to write the name of the seed that you have taken then the date on which you have planted then in order to find the height of a plant you have uh, so one table is provided here in which you have to mention the date then you have to measure by using a thread of the height of the plant and the number of leaves any other changes so growth uh, so uh, the growth you have to uh, measure is using thread in centimeter the number of leaves you have to observe any other changes means whether your leaves dried up or kangjan bra na ta ka kien bra wilt khuijal lak bra adu miyam do yao ga di sida any other changes change the idu ni so find out how long did it take for a plant to come out from the soil so in order to find in order to uh, in order to write or in order to give answer to these questions you have to perform this activity otherwise you will not be able to give answer but as a general even without performing this activity we can give answer in general in general terms not practically so how long did it take for a plant to come out from the soil so almost a week it will take to come it will take uh, or the plant will take almost a week to come out from the soil what was the difference in the height of the plant on the first and second day obviously there will be uh, the height will increase of course on which day did the height of the plant increase the most and did you did new leaves come out of the plant every day so if proper water so if the seeds <coughs> or if the plants get proper water and um, the proper sunlight and proper air, 
then obvi- obviously uh, then obviously it will grow and new leaves will come out since leaves are the uh, food factory of the plant since photosynthesis takes place in in leaves so if uh, if the if plants are provided with uh, proper raw materials for photosynthesis then obviously it will grow and new leaves will come out was there any change in the stem of the plant uh, so as as plant grows the stem will become thicker discuss sorry which 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 seeds took the most number of these for the stem to come out of the soil so it depends on the types of seed that you uh, that you are going to take or that you have taken which seeds took the least days to come out of the soil it also depends on what seeds they what seeds you are going to take or what seeds they you have taken which seeds did not grow at all and why as i told you if if proper raw materials that is proper water nutrients uh, proper sunlight proper air are provided all seeds will grow did anyone plant dried up or turn yellow why this did this happen I don't know as I it may happen that some plants it, it may happen it may happen that some leaves or some plant dried up uh, the reason will be uh, lack of what's a lack of uh, proper nutrients or lack of pr- proper raw materials what would happen if the plants what would happen if the plants do not get water uh, will dry up it will, it will dry up and finally it will die straight from your heart what is inside the seed marusi manung di yaurji kari no hai masi koi ki manung di yaurji cotyledons and embryo have ni ko masai ki pambi koi ki pambi masa ni manung di yaurji मसी तब 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 न पाबी अचोब ओलकदी कम कानून ओलकनी है मांगी रो मचल से फजन पीरगे मांग मनुद पाबी ओनबी एम्ब्रायो वेन वी सप्लाई प्रोपर रो मेटीरियल देट इज वाटर न्यूट्रिय प्रोपर सनलाइट प्रोपर एयर देन एम्ब्रायो विल बी फाइनली कन्वर्टेड इन टू अ बिग प्लान हाउ डज ए बिग प्लान ग्रो फ्रॉम ए टाइनी सी seed will uh, so after getting proper uh, raw material uh, seed will germinate to seedling and uh, at first we say when is how does a seed how does a big plant grow from a tiny seed how does the tiny seed seed seeds will germinate to seedling then after getting proper raw material there is water nutrients proper sunlight and uh, proper air, uh, proper sunlight in air it will be the seedling will be uh, will become will grow to a big plant the teachers note is given here students are not supposed to be given formal information in the response to these questions these are meant to explore their own intuitive ideas discussing in class will help them think about how plants need air water and soil masi the main when hining is iman is the hining is kari no hari ga de कोई सात्र फॉर्मल इनफोमेसन है आंसर से डायरेक्ट आवाम हाईब है आगामी खब हमारग थीजल खीजल खंगप हेन इनफोम हेन का है वन इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट इज मेन हे सो ड्यूरींग दिस एक्टिविटी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट देट यू हेव टू रिमेंबर एंड यू हेव टू लर्न is there during photosynthesis plants need air water and soil agadi from soil plants will get a nutrients which is required for the proper growth of the plant so during this is regarding photosynthesis so during photosynthesis plants required water uh, the nutrients then uh, carbon dioxide which is present in air and sunlight is also required in order to in order to uh, what say in order to in order uh, i think as i uh, so that the reaction takes place so photosynthesis is a chemical change so in order 
for the reaction to take place in order for the generation of in order for the generation of food for the plant a photosynthesis is the process uh, through which plant can prepare their own food and during photosynthesis air water nutrients sunlight uh, air, uh, are the raw materials required by the plant for photosynthesis see matang the paper palame matang the yang see think and imagine what would happen if plants could walk draw a picture just for fun find out do some plants grow without seeds which is very important do some plants grow without seeds maru yaw da bida maru shuyaw yaw da bida pambi se hau ya bra yai masi matang da koi matang matang da makani aduga in a more detail uh, will uh, you will learn in higher classes so more uh, in detail you will be learning in higher classes about uh, the uh, about plants that, uh, that grow without seeds uh, budding kind masa ka thala ga yumsila hau ba myam ma tam tam khini ko adu na sa maru shuyaw yaw da bida hau ba adu ko pa mi myam da su which you will be learning in higher class so of the class 5 it is is more than sufficient that you have the knowledge that plants can also grow without seeds and what are the uh, what are the plants or uh, what are the examples and how what are the process through which plants grow without seeds in detail about the plants that grow without seeds you will be learning in higher classes so with this i conclude uh, today's uh, say today's video which is almost half of the lesson so the remaining half of the lesson will be the video of uh, the remaining half of the lesson will be uploaded next week so thank you for watching thank you everyone